This is the history of the zipper, also known as the Battle of the Fly. Before the zipper, men had to button up their pants. And in 1893, this gentleman right here named Whitcomb Judson created a device called the Hookless One, which would help to zip up mailbags, corsets, but things weren't really staying zipped. He needed more teeth. Enter Otto Sundbeck, who came up with Hookless Number Two. He added 10 teeth. B.F. Goodrich was like, gentlemen, we'll use it for our rubber boots, but you gotta call it something catchy like zipper. And then some genius decided, hey, let's put that zipper into pants. In 1937, there was this marketing campaign and they were like, gentlemen, you'll save 52 minutes out of every year if you just add the zipper. It was also the same year as King George VI coronation, King Charles's grandfather, and he was like, I'll use the zipper. And then everybody was like, ooh, if it's good enough for the king, 